Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch this video and to learn OneNote. We want as many people as possible to learn how to work effectively with tools like OneNote, Office 365 and Surface. So please refer this series to your friends and colleagues. If you really want to have an impact with your team, the most effective way is to set aside time each week to improve your digital skills. You can set up this process in your organization with our Microsoft 365 coaching programs. Check out the link below to see our instructor facilitated coaching programs and contact us for more information. Are you ready to get productive with OneNote? OneNote has some great features designed to help you to take effective meeting notes. If you're using Office 365 for your mail and calendar, on the insert menu in OneNote, you'll see a button that says meeting details. Click on that button to open up a sidebar that will show you a list of all of your upcoming meetings for the day. Click on one of the meetings to insert the details of that meeting into your page. On that page now, you'll see the meeting subject, the meeting details as they've come through from the body of the meeting invite, and also a list of all of the participants, the people who are invited to this meeting. And when you think about your meetings and how they often get started, those are critical pieces of information. Have you ever been in a meeting where somebody said, what's the agenda for this meeting? Or could you print me a copy? Have you also had the experience where somebody says, who's meant to be here? Is Joe meant to be here? So now that you have all that detail on the page, you've already answered those questions and you can get straight in to getting on with your meeting. The beauty of retrieving that information directly from within OneNote is that you don't have to have Outlook open on your device. And one of the worst things that you could do for your meeting productivity is allow anybody to have Outlook open because people will be almost immediately distracted by unread emails. So now that you've got the details that you need on your page in OneNote, take your notes. If you're typing notes or handwriting notes, just take them below the meeting details. I recommend that you take these meeting notes in a notebook that's shared with your colleagues so that they can collaborate with you and follow up with you after the meeting on not only the meeting minutes, but also the action items from your meeting. So now that you've been introduced to a new collaborative way of note taking, you're ready to get productive with OneNote. One of the best things that you can do with OneNote is take your meeting notes in OneNote. OneNote has some, uh, OneNote is designed, what did you say? What was that thing we just said? OneNote has some 